So diagnostic-wise, we offer EKG, chest X-ray, blood pressure measurement, and echocardiography. Echocardiography is the most accurate way to diagnose and will confirm the myocardial thickening, the thickening of the left ventricle. At the same time, not only hypertrophic cardiomyopathy that causes ventricular myocardial thickening, but also there are other systemic diseases, other under, underlying um, diseases outside the heart can also result in the same uh, cardiac phenomenon, myocardial thickening. For example, when a cat has hyperthyroidism, which is one of the most common endocrine disease in the cat, hyperthyroidism can also result in myocardial thickening, muscle thickness. And also, if the cat has systemic hypertension, high pressure also leads to increase in pressure in the left ventricle, increase in thickness of the myocardium. So we diagnose myocardial thickening in the cat. Once the myocardium is thickened in the cat, then we need to rule out some other systemic diseases, such as hyperthyroidism and systemic hypertension. Once hyperthyroid and systemic hypertension are ruled out, then we make a a diagnosis of exclusion of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. And for the management, again, in vet medicine, we cannot fix the problem. We manage clinical signs. So we do not usually start cardiac medications until our feline patients develop clinical signs, such as open mouth breathing, breathing difficulty, breathing fast, all those signs. Not only heart failure, some HCM cats develop some other uh, important clinical significance, so-called aortic thromboembolism. In other words, cats with this particular heart disease, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, may develop some signs of back leg paralysis. In other words, big clot can be formed in the heart, and the big clot can be broken into small pieces. Those pieces can float around and circulate around in the body system, can block and clot into the vessel in the back legs. So in that case, a feline patients do exhibit signs of pain, vocalization, and uh, low temperature in the back legs, and paralysis, not moving, rather dragging the back legs, things like that. So when your pet exhibiting, uh, feline patient exhibiting signs of vocalization, pain, uh, low temperature, and dragging back legs, and paralysis, then uh, the hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is one of the differentials to explain the clinical signs.